Hello, welcome back to Trucking Answers. Today there's huge news. The FMCSA just changed the personal conveyance exception. You're gonna be able to use it when you're loaded. Let's talk about it. First, right here, I've got exactly what they said. This is a couple minutes out of your life and then I want you to tell me how much more money you're gonna make because of this. All right, this is what they said yesterday. I'm gonna put the date right here on the screen, right on the bottom of the uh, when this is effective. <laughs> Ready? The movement from a shipper or receiver, okay, to the nearest, nearest safe parking place. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Maybe identified as personal conveyance, regardless of whether the driver has exhausted their hours. As long as the vehicle is being moved solely to enable the required rest at a safe location. Okay, that means that when the shipper or receiver says, you got to get the heck out of here, you can go to the nearest safe location now there's a question on what the nearest safe location is what if the nearest safe location is not in the direction that you're going i'd still go the way i'm going okay personally i would okay and nearest reasonable they are continually talk about this they won't say exactly what it is but you can do this even if you're loaded and remember personal conveyance is off duty time therefore if you leave at 5 p.m and you don't find parking until 6 p.m., you don't need a 10-hour break, you need a nine-hour break because the two, an off-duty and sleeper berth time can be combined into 10 hours as long as they're continuous, okay? All you're supposed to do is put on your log that you were not able to park at the location. Now, many drivers, even though they know they're not supposed to, log off-duty when they are at a shipper or receiver. So if you have that, you're not going to be able to use this, I don't think, because how do you explain being off duty? You're supposed to be on duty or sleeper birth. So I would say for sure sleeper birth it at the uh, shipper or receiver, because then you could say, well, I sleep in there and then they made me leave. And so I'm going to tell you, if you're off duty for four hours at the shipper, you got a problem because that's not really off duty time as mother log showed, right? Off duty time has to be time that you are free to pursue activities of your own choosing, even at another location. So you could take a cab to a movie, which really doesn't happen at a shipper. Okay, but you can use this personal conveyance even if you're not out of hours yet. It says that specifically, regardless of whether the driver has exhausted their hours. So you're just 10 hours on your clock, you still have hours to drive. You could personal conveyance over to the uh, over to a truck stop to park if you're parking to sleep. Now, if you're parking just to get um, a hot dog or whatever, I don't think that's gonna work, okay? Because the, the vehicle has to be moved solely to enable the rest at a safe location. Okay, so if you're going there just to uh, for a shower or whatever, I don't think so. But if you're going to take a 10 hour break, you don't really need a 10 hour break because any personal conveyance use is off duty or driving off duty, even if you're loaded. This is huge news, this is big. This is, I still think you should get paid. The real problem, you're not being paid at the shipper or receiver, and this doesn't help solve that problem. This may uh, actually make the problem worse because they know that they can just keep you there as long and you can still drive somewhere legally. But this stops the problem of how do I drive out, I'm out of hours. The FMCSA has solved that. Look, two months, ELD, two months, Already the rules are changing, already. Follow the law, follow your ELD, it's gonna change the rules. They're gonna continue to change and it's gonna get better. Trust me, it's gonna get better, okay? This is huge news. How is this gonna impact you? Are you gonna make more money? I think it'll help everybody. You can add an hour or two every time you load, right? To your day and that's drive time and that's money in your pocket and that's where it needs to be, not sitting and uh, not being paid. All right, we're gonna get back to more soon. I want to thank everybody for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, hey, go ahead and subscribe, right? All right, thanks. We'll be back soon with more trucking answers.